Good morning. What's going on there, guys? It is the Earth Master back here on this Monday. Finally Monday, April 10th, 2023. A little humor there. Probably not too humorous. It is a, uh, let's see, 9.18 a.m. here along the West Coast in California. Latest earthquake shows some movement with a 3.0. In the area of Turkey, it looks like, showing up here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. A little bit of aftershock movement there taking place today. Also, uh, getting some movement along the West Coast, Texas rocking slightly. Alaska definitely seeing an uptick in movement as well. And, of course, around the Java Trench here, things are uh, definitely picking up, including a 4.7 here off into the, uh, well, well off the plate boundary. Let's go ahead and check this out, see what we got going on here across the area. Now, the USGS doesn't look like they're showing that odd, <coughs> excuse me, odd earthquake over here. It's 4.7. It's kind of back away from the plate boundary in the middle of the oceanic crust out here. It's a little odd. Um, let's see if it's been reviewed here. It's been reported by the Germany um, geological folks. There are source parameters provided by uh, the geo, geo centrum there in Germany, it looks like. So nothing, uh, nothing from the USGS yet in regards to that specific earthquake. So we'll kind of watch that, see if this gets revised or not. Either way, definitely some uptick here along the Andaman Sea area. Once again, did see a 4.5 into the mix of earthquake activity that we've seen over the past couple days. We have to go back, well, over the last seven days here to see this movement that basically kicked off early morning yesterday and throughout the day as well so got about 10 earthquakes really no official large main quake yet we've seen 5.5 5.6 a couple other fives and fours but really no main quake so kind of keeping an eye on that area for some potential larger scale movement uh, one earthquake up here into the Myanmar area from yesterday Let's see what else we got uh, eastern Afghanistan still showing some activity it looks like Papua New Guinea. All right. Uh, over here around the Bismarck Sea area. Still seeing a little bit of activity kick up here with a, uh, what's the latest one here? It looks like a 6.0 from yesterday. We did see an aftershock in that area. Now, I could have swore that we had a uh, another quake here overnight. I'm not seeing it. Let me check here real quick on the USGS map or the uh, EMSC model. Maybe it was this 5.4 here. Either way, uh, yesterday, late last night, we did see a 6.0, 5.8. Quite a bit of uptick here across the area of the Bismarck Sea region. That movement looks as though the momentum and whatnot is still continuing to work its way around the plate boundary here up around the Java Trench. So we'll watch that. Keep that in mind today. Uh, the Kuro Kamchaka Trench up here in Japan Trench, Izu Trench, all looks fairly quiet. Not a whole lot showing up here. Um, across the map with respect to those areas oops I meant to uh, go back here as you can see here on the map fairly quiet conditions uh, prevailing across this area one earthquake in Taiwan yesterday or um, Japan area off the coast of Taiwan 4.9 coming in uh, looks like earlier yesterday morning most of the activity today aside from the Java Trench region getting some movement out here along the west coast Let's go ahead and see what we have here. I'm going to start up in the Alaska area where we did see that four-pointer come in yesterday, shaking things up around the Anchorage area. Well, today, got a couple more aftershocks within that vicinity. It looks like they raised that to a 4.6 near, near the uh, Anchorage region. A couple other smaller quakes within the vicinity uh, of Anchorage. But uh, yeah, definitely a considerable uptick here across the area of the Aleutian Trench and up stretching towards the Denali area. All right, uh, what do we got here for the Pacific Northwest? One earthquake here from yesterday, that 4.0 off the coast of Oregon. Doesn't look like there's anything else popping up there in that region for now. But here in California, 2.5 map and above. Shows a little bit of movement uh, this morning, including a 3.0 down on the San Jacinto Fault Zone with a little bit of subsequent swarming. Um, Within that area, it looks like, uh, actually, it looks like there's only a couple of earthquakes in that region. Although we've been watching uh, quite a bit of swarming out here within this fault zone. 
Uh, one earthquake up here on the San Andreas Fault, it looks like. The southern segment, 0.9. The rest of the uh, sleeping giant remains quiet for now. Continue to watch that. Uh, let's see, a little bit of activity along the creeping segment as well today. Texas uh, was rocking overnight. Uh, this originally came in as a 4.0 or 4.1, I think, uh, outside of Mid Midland area of Texas. Downgrade to six or uh, 3.8. A couple other smaller quakes in there as well. This is in a major zone of... Well, you guessed it. Oil fields galore and pumping operations and wastewater disposal wells galore all over the place. So that's, um, you know, that's a pretty active area for earthquake activity due to those conditions there. Operations also over here around the Pecos, Texas area. I uh, got a 3.3 underneath this facility. I'm not for sure what this place is. Um, it's hard to tell. I think I've looked at it a couple times and never really got a word on what that, uh, what this area is. Either way, earthquake activity within that uh, vicinity of that facility, but also notice over here to the east, just literally within a couple thousand feet, massive wastewater disposal wells out at hand uh, throughout this area of Texas where, of course, a lot of earthquake has been occurring. We get a lot of earthquake out there in Texas, and it has been, and it will continue for the foreseeable future talking about 202 earthquakes out here in Texas just in this area alone in the last 30 days if you look at the big map here you can kind of see where all the um, uh, certain oil fields are being hit throughout Oklahoma and the Kansas or uh, Oklahoma and the Texas area all right one earthquake here across the New Madrid zone a 2.3 near Strawberry Arkansas never even heard of it all right, uh, continued activity and uptick across the Caribbean plate here. That includes the Middle America Trench and the Puerto Rico Trench up here. Uh, still seeing quite a bit of swarming here into the uh, Puerto Rico area, as you can see on the Earthquake 3D globe. It's a little bit less uh, than what we were seeing last night, but uh, this thing was just raised off the globe, indicating a massive swarm of earthquakes there across the Puerto Rico area. There's a lot at play here. There's a couple different troughs here to the south and uh, one up here to the north, of course, the Puerto Rico Trench. So this area kind of always getting squeezed in between these two regions. And if you look at it, this plate as a whole, it's always getting, uh, well, kind of bullied and shoved around. Uh, there is the Caribbean plate in the uh, kind of like a pink salmon color here. You can see uh, how the movement from the south uh, and all around it basically is just kind of uh, pushing and squeezing that plate all over the place. Two big plates to the north and south, and, uh, well, you know, you can pretty much assume that that's always going to be in uh, in a position of where it's always moving. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. Just going to make this a quick update. I want to get out here and uh, get the garden done here. i got a rototel, uh, a good portion here. I think we're going to start our garden today. It's supposed to be 81 degrees, and it doesn't look like we have any freezes or any super cold weather coming up. So today's going to be a good day to uh, work on the tan and also get some garden done, gardening done. Uh, 5.7 yesterday in the southern mid-Atlantic Ridge, also a 4.9 here in the same area. Uh, South America region did see a slight uptick in earthquake activity overnight along the Peru area, down here north, or uh, Chile area, excuse me, north of Santiago, into the Peru-Chile Trench. That is shown up here on the Earthquake 3D model. So fairly active day. Uh, we did, it looks like we did see some movement there into the Fiji area back over here to the west. Some deeper activity once again, including a super deep 4.3 early this morning, 522 kilometers deep. Also some activity up north into the Tonga Trench, fairly deep as well with that 4.5. Nothing going on across New Zealand for now. I find that rather odd. You know, it's sitting on a major plate boundary you would think that it would start showing some activity it looks like we did see a 3.0 about five hours ago uh, a couple other smaller quakes listed up here on the map as well let's check out the earthquake drums and then we'll see uh how well it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of activity here otherwise we would notice it that's kind of why i look at these drums so we can see if there's a um, you know, earthquake swarms for one, or just some earthquake activity in general that's not being reported. And 
To be honest, there's not a lot. There's that three-pointer potentially. But even then, it just barely showed up on a couple of the stations there around North Island, New Zealand. All right, space weather activity here from SolarHam.net. We got a couple different regional sunspots here that we're watching. Uh, one of the main ones here getting ready to face the Earth. It's going to be this massive sunspot. Although it's looking a little bit uh, spread out today. We'll continue to watch this, though, for activity. A newer sunspot region here looks like it may be trying to get its act together. And a couple new sunspots to welcome here on the eastern limb of the sun. Uh, this one down here is the one that produced that M flare last night. That's going to be, uh, it doesn't look like it's named yet. Uh, but you can just barely see it down here on the southeastern limb. That did produce the M flare that peaked out at um, <clears throat> about an M 3.4 or so. Since then, we're noticing a little sea flare activity from a couple of these sunspots. A look at the UV filter shows, um, well, it's fairly active over here on that uh, specific sunspot. We'll continue to watch this, though, in the coming days. For now, uh, this I think this one here does pose a little threat for uh, some further M flaring. 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25% chance, 1% for X flare. With the uh, main culprit, it looks like right now, 3272. Um, what do we got here? Looks like these are named, but not updated up here on the map. So 3275 is going to be the one on... Well, let's see. Is this the one that we're looking at? 3275. It's going to be one of these. Possibly that one. I don't know. We'll, we'll check a little bit later tonight when this is all updated. But uh, either way, just stay safe out there, folks. Nothing really going on for the auroras. As you can see, very minimal across the latitudes in the north and the south, around Antarctica and up into the uh, northern regions of the planet. Very quiet conditions. All right. All right. I think I'm ready. I got my caffeine. Going to go out here. 61 degrees right now, but again... Supposed to warm up to about 81, uh, our warmest day of the year so far. Yesterday we hit 77, so that was kind of nice. I was out in the sun a little bit and um, actually got a little burnt. So today I'm going to put a little bit of lotion on and some sunscreen, maybe just to limit the uh, amount of rays I'm getting. But either way, it feels nice to get out there in some warmer weather. We've had a crazy winter here in California. And, um, you know, to be honest, I think I am just ready for uh, some springtime temperatures. But I do know that we have, you know, hundreds right around the corner. Uh, May, we could easily see our first 100 degree day. And then, of course, the brutal summers around here in the Sacramento Valley, we can get up to 115, 117 degrees uh, there in the uh, end of June and July time period. So I'm not really looking forward to that. If it stayed roughly between 80 and 90 uh, in the summertime, that would be great. But uh, I think we all know that's not going to happen. All right, guys, have a good one. Stay safe out there, and we'll be off here on the side. Uh, even though I'll be gardening, uh, I'll definitely uh, be within range here if anything pops off as far as any larger scale activity. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on.